Welcome back, you two. Hey thanks. guys, welcome back. Thanks for joining us again. We got scorpions. I want to say the scorpions. Just what flows better for me that way. But there's no the, it's just scorpions. scorpions. Wind of change. This is going to be our second track. Still loving you. I believe still loving you is what it was called. Um, first one that we did was a request. That's how we got into scorpions. So, yeah, it's uh, really cool. On the heels of that, in the comments, you guys were saying that we needed to check out wind wind of change not winds of change i want to add the scorpion winds of change that's my version of the song <laughs> Phil's the making actual, up his own version the actual version is scorpions wind of change <laughs> yes well speaking of the comments thank you guys for all those comments and educating us so much on yes. the group as a whole and all of the likes and the subscriptions so thanks for joining us on this this journey that we're on and mm -hmm. uh, we hope you continue that in this video yeah hit that like button now if you want um but uh scorpions wind of change um a little bit of the background on this i think it's related to the Soviet Union, um, something to do with when, you know, they were kind of transitioning from the Soviet Union into Russia around that time period. And that's kind of, I guess, the theme of wind of change. Uh, so cool. I think this came out in around 1989 or something like that. Mm -hmm. Do you remember? Uh, I think it was the end of the 80s, early 90s. So Wind of Change came out uh, in 1990, and so that would probably make sense for the time frame that mm -hmm. we were discussing. Yeah. And uh, as we've been doing more frequently lately, we have a quiz for you. Fun little trivia. A little question. Yeah. And the question is, where did this group originate from? Yeah, what city? They're a German group, but what city did they originate from? So we we've got to know at the end. Yeah. So we've so got a stay and watch. German group talking about Russia in this one. Let's see what they're going to bring to the table. Yes. Interesting that we saw Berlin. Down to Gonky Park, listening to the wind of change. An August summer night, soldiers passing by, listening to the wind of change. Bumps already. The world is closing in. Did you ever think that we could be so close like Brian? like just goosebumps all over lots of powerful images here yeah so i think there's much more 
to this than what we talked about in the beginning about it being from the Soviet Union to Russia. I mean, maybe that was the theme of the song, but you know, sometimes they make videos later and it mm -hmm. changes what the song means and whatever. But the vibe that I'm getting, it's related to communism as a whole, mm -hmm. because in the beginning we saw the Berlin, they were showing Berlin. And I'm, I think the Berlin wall came down in 1991, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken, that was kind of, and then you have um, the cold war, I think was coming to a close around 1990s Same time period. And yeah. I can't remember the exact date. Um, <clears throat> and then they showed uh, Tiananmen Square, with, uh, which was in China, another communist regime. Um, so, and I think there was other flags that might have saw North Korea in there. <clears throat> so I think the theme is more around communism and the winds of change of moving away from this school of thought around the world when they would have made this. Yeah. So that's why it's kind of giving me these goosebumps because it's got so much depth and meaning to it with so few lyrics. They're not saying a whole lot. Yeah, the, um, the vibe that I'm kind of getting from what he's saying, like you said, it's not, there's not a lot of lyrics, but that mixed with the imagery, like what comes to me is like you said, similarly in the idea of this wind of change, but that like he talked about like, did you ever think that we could be brothers and like mm -hmm. being so close? Like, you know, I think it's talking about bringing down these walls of the communism and more unification in the world, right? And having people having like more rights and more unification between well, each yeah. other. So. Not just that as well, right? Because the Cold War, right? You yeah. know, obviously the United States and, and, you know, them being at, you know, odds with each other mm -hmm. and now they're going to be brothers yeah right so yeah and then even you know east and west berlin and yeah you know. and just kind of this message of hope of change like right the change is coming so let's have hope that we can be unified more yeah and, and we're going to be brothers yes, right and exactly. come together and so uh, power ballad through and through the last mm -hmm. one we did was a power ballad but this one has got much more meaning to it i think for me um and i really like these t kinds of songs where you know, there's substance to it and there's meaning to it, but it sounds awesome at mm -hmm. the same time. Yeah, I you really know. like his vocal. In this yeah, too. just he's telling the story about this. Or I think maybe why it's resonating a lot with me is because I feel like he's providing the emotional concept of the way the song is supposed to feel in what he's highlighting in the imagery or what they're highlighting in the imagery and what we read a little bit of to start the song with his vocal and with the instrumentation. Yeah. So they're capturing what the song is supposed to represent yeah. really well. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I would agree. And like to pair it along with the imagery at all, it all like blends very nicely. Yeah. And then, you know, but that's interesting because it's supposed to be about Russia and I haven't seen a ton of Russian visuals. Although I think this on the screen here might be from, yeah. from Russia. I think he's referring to a couple of different like, <clears throat> um, places like the Moscow or however you say Moscow, that. That sounds like have, it's Russian. Yeah. yeah. And I think he referenced a park and stuff like that. Like yeah. I think he's talking about places in Russia. Yeah. So yeah. Anyways, let's keep it going. Great stuff so far.
look at it from up here. You get an appreciation of our world is a beautiful place and we do need to take care of it. Could be said for the situation right now in the world. Yeah. Seriously. Lots of craziness going on right now and not too many people want to take care of it, seems like. Anyways, I think we also saw Mikhail Gorbachev in the video <clears throat> pertaining to Russia. He was the last, I think it was president of the Soviet Union, mm. Communist Party of the Soviet Union, I think is what they used to call it. So um, I think he was the last president, which would make, make sense as well from the transition of the Soviet Union to Russia. And um, <clears throat> so... It also showed a lot of imagery of almost like diplomatic meetings, like people shaking from different countries shaking hands and whatever. So it almost seems like people are trying to like, you know, make peace, not yeah. beef. <laughs> and there was, uh, you know, the use of the whistle in there was pretty yeah, intricate cool. and, and unique. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure, you know, maybe that plays into like, you know, whistling like no cares yeah. type thing. Carefree. Where, yeah. You know, the winds of change. Are you wh No, whistling the wind. Yeah, that's probably what it is. <laughs> you the know, the old saying Whistling when you whistle in the wind, in the wind, wind yeah. change, right? <laughs> that's so, cool. Uh, anyways, I love the song. I love the messaging in it. I love the you know performance that they provided. Great use of the electric guitar as well. I love when the solo, I feel like, captures the essence of the song. Yeah, like it fit in there perfectly. Yeah, yeah, I really enjoyed it as well. I thought it was really cool. And like I said, I think the video really complimented the song because the song was great but i think the visualization i'm a visual person so mm -hmm. for me like seeing the visuals made it that much more impactful mm -hmm. well now we just got to tell you the answer to the pop quiz that yeah. we gave you at the beginning and that is where does this group hail from what city in germany did they come from and the answer to that question is hanover hanover germany so um if you didn't know that now you do if you're a big fan of them, you probably already knew that. But if this is your first time on the channel and you learned something, that's great. Yeah. But now you have to learn something more in our next video. And you can do that by hitting the subscribe button. Yes. So you can hit that. And what else do they have to do? Hit the notification bell so you don't miss another video. That's right. And they'll notify you tomorrow because we always drop videos every single day, two a day, sometimes three, but usually two. Yeah. And so you can be on the lookout for that if uh, you hit that notification bell and subscribe. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.